Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I will be covering the newest announced title by Bohemia Interactive, Silica. This will be a futuristic FPS and RTS that attempts to blend both genres into one game, allowing fans of both genres one title to play. So, with no more delay, let's get into covering this title. So Silica is an upcoming PC title by Bohemia Interactive's Incubator Projects. This is where they field experimental projects as a company, with previous Incubator projects including Wylands and Argo. This game will feature human expansion and warfare on a distant alien planet. As players will need to combine real-time strategy tactics with first-person boots on the ground to defeat the enemies. So with some of the surface level details out of the way, let's look at some of the information that has been revealed by the devs regarding this title. So to begin, all of these answers come from the devs and their Discord. Their Discord is extremely active and I'll have it linked below. It's basically the best place to get answers about this project. In fact, the background screenshots shown in this video all come from that Discord from devs who share details on this project. So let's take a moment to look at some questions the devs have answered regarding this game. First things first, this game is not made in the Infuse engine, but rather is made in the Unity engine. This is a bit of a surprise to me, seeing as the Infuse engine has been Bohemia's big thing, but I guess it just shows how independent this project is from the rest of Bohemia. Next, the game will have offline and online versions, and there will be three main modes. The typical battle style, where you can play as an FPS soldier or RTS commander, a single player or co-op PvE prospector mode, which will allow the FPS or commander options, as well as an FPS deathmatch mode called Arena. Next, let's talk about the dev team size. From what I read, the dev team is quite tiny, and by tiny I mean one person. The dev originally stated that there was a team of three, however the other two devs have now gone to work on Arma, leaving us with just our sole dev. Granted, this project is amazing for three devs, and shows that this is a truly is a passion project that Bohemia is just helping out with. Another pressing issue is price. This game will be in early access at $19.99 before increasing to $24.99 after a full release, which they believe will be in quarter two of 2023. With these questions aside, we can now cover some even closer specifics the dev gave us. First, while currently there are no air units, it is something planned for an update before release. This is good news as it would be humorous if air units came for this title before Reforger. Second, they gave us more details into the types of FPS classes. Scout, which is fast but has a simple SMG and minimal armor. Rifleman, which has decent speed, a strong assault rifle, and standard armor. Marksman, with normal speed, a powerful anti-material sniper rifle, and minimal armor. Heavy with normal speed, a four-barreled rocket launcher with non-guided rockets and heavy armor, and Commando, who has normal speed, a Blaterium rifle, which damages tanks and so on, and heavy armor as well. We also got a tiny hint at the lore with this message from the devs, which paints some of the backstory. Sol and Centauri, prior to the discovery of Baltaris, lived in cooperative harmony with no military in either faction. Mankind invented teleportation, though a deep flaw is that the more distant the target, the more drawn it is toward gravity wells such as planets, so utilizing it across a galaxy is impossible. Nonetheless, using it, people managed to reach Proxima Centauri, our nearest star, and establish a colony there, hence the Centauri. Trade and so forth was peaceful, so spending on defense was not needed, hence militaries were disbanded. Drones were sent all over the galaxy in the hopes that some stable direction could be found, but none return, until one day, years after being sent, one does. It hailed from Valtaris. People then travel there, find a barren wasteland, and search it. They discover Valtirium, with properties that multiply input energy, and also a strange property that manipulates matter around it in strange ways, such as causing the crystallization of sand around it. Hence the crystal fields above the Valtyrian deposit. People quickly start to mine its material for its properties, namely from Sol, but not long after, the bugs come. They attack without warning and decimate mining operations. This forces the reinstatement of a military arm to deal with the threat. Once mining is re-established, the Valtyrium comes in, but to Sol, little is greedily sent to the Centauri, who try political means to get a greater fraction of the imports. 
With this failing, they establish their own mining operations, their own military, and the foundations for conflict are laid. Overall, I'm very excited for this project, and I'm hopeful it provides a solid FPS futuristic shooter to play, and I'm also excited for its RTS aspects as well. In the end, we won't know what it's really like until it releases to early access, which is said to be inbound in the next month. So until then, this has been Christopher Beast, and I'll see y'all next time.